was acceptable. Ah, he's totally warming up to you. Thank the gods of old, our boat is still here. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine, I'll go first. I laughed. On the inside. You would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Lego. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. He even saved our lives. I would have caught the arrow. Yeah, I know, but Kian did, and it was awesome! Any news of the Informer? We brought him here for questioning. Was that wise? He knows our location now. That won't be a problem for long. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. The first is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course she won't travel alone. Aye, there's that, but I'm not talking about bodyguards or handmaidens or the like. No. She's got some real interesting company. One General Hami, alongside a Mother Utana. What did you say? Hami, General, Utana, Mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money, or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the Magicals. And some are unhappy with Saya and her lapdog, Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're intimate. A sister and a soldier? That's a capital crime. Well, that. With Saya ruling the church, and Vamon, the state here in Mercuria, there's not much anyone can do. If anyone can, it will be General Hami and Mother Utana. You know them well, then? You knew. You knew they were coming, and you knew my history with them. That's why you freed me from- Naane! Finally! What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard. The rebuilding progresses, and... Alvane, you are... on your feet again. The traitor? What's that witch doing here? They must not know who she is and what she's done. If I tell them now she's dead, I must confront her in private. The traitor? She betrayed the resistance to save herself, and now she's come back? Don't they know who she is and what she's done? I must tell them before she flees. The traitor... They're... They're all well. Rebuilding... Uh, apologies, Shepard. I'm... Tired from my travels. I would like to retire to my quarters. Of course. Let's speak tomorrow. That goes for all of us. The hour is late. We will reconvene after breakfast. You knew they were coming. The General and the Mother. That's why you sent Captain Bakim to Friar's Keep. That's why you freed me. Kian. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. 
You are a warrior. And now, you're a rebel. I knew they were coming, Utala and Hami. And I knew from our spies in Sardia that you were bound to them both. We saw an opportunity, and we sent Barkin to free you. You can see that we're desperate, Kian. Afraid, alone. Most humans have already given up, given in, become comfortable with this new world, with the Azadi. Many have forgotten about the Magicals, or chosen to forget. They carry on their lives, even if we cannot. We few are all that remains of the Resistance. If we lose, all is lost. Our lives, our hopes, our entire future. Lost to darkness. I will do anything to save my people. Make terrible sacrifices, tell lies, anything. Wouldn't you, Kian? So yes, you are a tool. And you are a symbol. Our secret weapon. The key to our survival. It's been a long and tiring day. And there's still much I need to do. We can continue our conversation another day. I've been expecting you. Why did you protect me in there? Why not tell them what I did? I only had a moment to decide. That's not enough time to weigh a person's life. I have no intention of protecting her secrets, but her selfless actions granted me a second chance. At the very least, she deserves to be heard. It was her portal that helped me escape the keep. She healed my wounds. She knew I might expose her, and yet I called her a traitor. But are we so different? It was Why did you save me? Because you were sick. Because you needed me. Because without my help, you would have died. Knowing I might tell everyone what you did. That made no difference. The Resistance needs you. So I did my part. You're still a traitor. I did betray the Resistance. But before you decide what to do with me, will you hear me out? Everyone deserves to be heard. I will base my decision on what I know and what I think is right. Every Speak. When I gave you the location of our base and betrayed April, I thought I was sacrificing one person to save everyone else. But many died because of my actions. This has haunted me. I have questioned my motives. Did I sell her out to save the shipment of food and medicines? Without it, many would have suffered. The old, the sickly, the children. Or did I betray the resistance to save my own skin? I would have been executed by the Azadi. I truly don't know. Perhaps it was a little of both. Perhaps things are not so black and white. We can never truly know the consequences of our actions. If you keep my secret, I can continue to help. I am of real value to the Resistance, despite my crimes. Turn me in, and more will suffer. But justice, for what it's worth, will be served. It's your choice to make, Alvane, not mine. What is your decision? What will you do with me? However she chooses to justify her betrayal, regardless of her importance to the Resistance, the others deserve to know. Her fate needs to be in their hands. She's important to the Resistance. Without her, they will be even weaker. I must protect her secret, whatever the consequences. However she chooses to justify her betrayal, regardless of her importance to the Resistance...
The others must know of your betrayal. Very well. I understand. Will you allow me to make my own confession to Shepard? I will take you to her. Thank you, and... I'm sorry for all the pain I have caused. I should have let you kill me. I should have been stronger. If I had, then maybe Liko wouldn't be in so much pain. April would be alive. And you would still be the Apostle. The first is on her way. Has she mentioned him? I don't think so. You do know she's brought General Harmy and that mother with her. Utana, it means nothing. The General was due back in the Northlands. What about the mother? She's rumored to be next in line for the seat. She wants to be... involved. She was also the bleeding heart who practically raised Alvani. She sponsored his whole education. Light. She could be a problem, but what can we do? We make sure none of them know Kian is alive and with the Resistance. Mistress, your presence here honors us. Sister Sire, this is an impressive edifice. It appears your work here has borne fruit. We believe so, Mistress. We welcome you to Mercuria and the Northlands. Anything you need, you let me know. Mother, I'm pleased to see you as well. To have the both of you here is a great honor. Quite. The Seat wants to know how the mission goes, how the Northlanders are handling the transition, and how many of them have chosen to embrace the light of the Goddess. We will speak of this, and much more. For now, we have prepared dinner for all of you. I hope you will join me. Right. Well, I am starving. The food on those cloud ships... General, I did not expect to see you back so soon. Neither did I. What's this I hear about Kian? Yes, what of the Apostle? It pains me to inform you that Alvane died in a riot. He was detained under penalty of death until your visit, Mistress. Unfortunately, the rebels snuck their agents into the prison. They cut him down and burned his body. Goddess guide his immortal soul to the First Mountain. With every respect to you and your seat, Mother, Alvani was a traitor. He betrayed the cause, and he... May I remind you, sister, that the Apostle was never relieved of his title and should be addressed properly? And may I also remind you that without a proper trial and judgment by the first of the six, his so-called treason remains an accusation and nothing more. Now that he's... no longer with us, we may never know the truth. But our people will not be told that the Apostle was a traitor. Mother. How did you say he died, Commander? Uh, stabbed during a riot. They burned his body, hopefully after he'd bled out. We weren't able to retake the prison until the next morning. I will need to see the keep for myself, Commander, and interview the guards and prisoners. Certainly. I shall make arrangements for you to visit in a couple of days. Don't bother, Vamon. I'll go there tomorrow. You don't have to trouble yourself. I'm sure you have better things to do. As you wish, Mir. How is the engine progressing? The engineers are working day and night to connect the tubes. We expect to be able to switch it on according to schedule. Good. I have brought the final instructions from Sadir. The architect will send any remaining modifications by cloud ship. And when the Prophet returns, he will inspect the engine before we switch it on. Have you not spoken with him? Not for many months, but he will be here when our goddess-given task is complete. Only he will know how to bring it to life and to interpret the messages from the engine. Of course. Please, will the two of you accompany me to the dinner table? I'm sure the kitchen is worried the food will turn cold before we are seated. General. Commander. Until tomorrow, sister. Mother. My lady. Vamon, if you'll dine with me in my quarters? Of course, Mia. Tell me again what happened at the keep.
Hello? You were there. Ixul Panax Brekal. We met. Have we... Have we met before? We will. We are meeting now. Venari Abnaxus et al. I am Abnaxus of the Venar. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Zoe of, um, the humans. Who's that? He will be Ular Pala, chief of the Ular. Those who remained, children of the Purple Mountains. Okay, this is a dream, right? It was. You dreamed of things else when. Of Abnaxus who was, and who will soon have passed beyond the veil and into the great forgetfulness. In the dream, I will speak of the time that has flowed, and the time that will still flow. But outside the dream, I was like a petrified tree in the middle of a river, frozen in this moment, while time parts around me. I think he said his name is Abnaxus. So why am I having this dream? You were needed. Achik Aksik Nabe Ajna Achik Aksik. The first dreamer needs you. The first dreamer? How did he get over there so quickly? There's some sort of doorway into the mountain. This one is also sick. This one is dying. Lux Kamel. What does that mean? This one's name is Lux. This one is the first dreamer. This one is like you, like your sister, like those who did dream and shaped reality. Another dreamer? Wait, that, that wasn't real. That was... that was just another dream. Yes. And also much more. We needed you to come. You came. You will come here to help Lux. Everything depends on this. Everything that was, is, and will be. If this one ends, everything ends. All of time. Someone... Someone else told me the same thing. What does it mean? This one is the first dreamer. This one dreams. And the dream is the universe. When the dream ends... W what's happening? W where are you going? Hey! Hey, come back! Tell me what's going on! Jesus, that felt so real. Oh, is that the time? Oh, shit. Reza bought that. I'm, um, uh, yeah. I didn't buy that.
Citizen, halt. Where are you going? Why? Answer the question or you will be detained. I have an appointment. The streets are unsafe. Return to your home or business to conduct your appointment remotely. I'm seeing my doctor. What is the name and business location of your doctor? They have no right to ask for that information, but if I resist, as far as I know, the Eye has no right to interrogate me. They have no right to ask for that. Dr. Roman Zelenka. His office is in Sasadri Tower. You are Zoe Maya Castillo, a resident of Sonnenshine Plaza Terraces by OCG. Are you asking me a question? Stay off the streets, Miss Castillo. It's for your own protection. Sure it is. Proceed. Crowboy is here to help you find your way in. Crowboy is here. I'm going to Seshadri Tower. The tallest tower in all of Probe. Y'all come back. Shutting down entire streets now. Say, so, citizen, maintain a minimum distance of 2.6 meters. Direct any questions to appropriate authorities. Eyes More. everywhere. Nothing to see I've here. I've seen so many of them out on the streets. Corporate-sponsored ad block. They were elite. There's been more and more of these random arrests. They're really cracking down on protests. Matt, get your map here. Matt, over here. I wasn't sure you'd make it today. What with the Panzer Pandu out in force? Say hello to our new robot overlords. It was touch and go. Were you waiting for me? I don't do apologies. Okay. When you bumped into me outside the collective, I was confrontational. I didn't mean to be. You don't do apologies, Nela. You're right, so shut up and accept it. Accepted. So why were you confrontational? Paranoia, Zozo. I'm just on edge with this party business. No big deal. Party business? She must mean the Marxists. By party business, she probably means the Marxists. Party bi What's going on? <sighs> Manifesto starting to come apart at the seams. Too many conflicts of interests. Ribas is having a tough time keeping everyone in line. There's no consensus about strategy, about what to do to get people to open their eyes and see what's really going on in this city. Some want to keep doing what we have been doing. Peaceful protest, debate, passing out pamphlets. Others want to take more radical action. 
Like what? It's politics, Zozo. You know how it is. The hardest part is agreeing on the common agenda. I'm not sure it matters. We're last in the polls, and it'll take a miracle to change that. But anyway, you were asking me about Hannah Roth. I'm looking for her. Why? Oh, it's complicated. Queenie, you know, the babka on the boat sure. down in the... everyone knows her. Queenie asked me to look for Hannah, to find out if she's okay or not okay, I guess. Why the hell would she be asking you? Campaign business. I'm trying to get her to officially support Leia Uminska. Ah, it's all starting to make sense. Do you know Hannah? She runs errands for merchants in Propast, does odd jobs for anyone willing to pay. She's helped me out a few times, deliveries mostly, and also... Well, that's how I know Hannah. But I don't know where she lives. I don't know who her friends are, I don't know how to get hold of her. So, why...? She runs a gang, all homeless girls, the Dragonflies. They operate out of the underground here in Propast. They do odd jobs, legit jobs, but also other jobs. Like crime? Like crime, Zozo. Pickpocketing, fencing, smuggling, selling unlicensed dreams. Drugs. Keep an eye out for the dragonfly symbol and the girl with short pink hair and piercings. That'll be Hannah. Oh, I appreciate it, Nella. I'm sorry about getting involved in your affairs last week. Don't worry about it. You still haven't tried the pork sausages. The last batch was a bit... iffy. There were complaints and also food poisoning, but I just received a new delivery and they smell much better this time around. Right. Uh, some other time, maybe. I hope you find Hannah. Stay inside. Stay in touch with your watching dream machines. The streets are dangerous. Avoid the streets. Crowds are unsafe. How do you feel about Reza and you? Splitting up? I haven't really allowed myself to wallow. I feel fine, I think. I've tried not to think about our breakup. I've kept busy and emotionally distant. I haven't really... Okay, I feel okay about it. Well, that's good. Take your time. Don't rush into anything. I won't. In our last session... Last week. Uh, last week? Uh, you said you want to remember. Right. About what happened before the coma? Yeah. Is that still the case? I haven't changed my mind. I need to go back before I can move. I've thought about it and... No, I haven't changed... Yep. Okay. Good. I think it's right of you to focus on remembering. I believe it will help you... Wake up. W wake up? W what do you mean? I am awake. Oh, wait, sorry, I I'm getting a call. Do you need to take it? Uh, it's, it's just Baruti, my campaign manager. I'm, I'm sure it can wait. Sorry about that. Where were we? D what did you mean by waking up? Are you sleeping well? Uh, no, not really, no. And why is that? I, I dream. A lot. They're very vivid dreams. Lucid. Not like... Like normal dreams at all. Do you remember these dreams? I think my dreams are important. If I... T I'm not sure I want to share my dreams with Roman. They feel important, but private. I'll figure them out on my own. I... I don't remember the details. Didn't you just tell me they were lucid dreams? I... I guess, yeah, but... But I, I don't remember any specific details, only fragments, and, and they're gone as soon as I wake. Dreams are never just dreams. They can be mirrors, reflecting our darkest fears and deepest desires. They can provide us with clues to who we are. They can... stir memories. But let's leave that for next week. Our time is up. Today was another step forward, Zoe. Regardless of what you do or do not remember. I want you to think about what I said. About working on your memories. About remembering. You really should write down your dreams, you know. It will help you remember. I should head out. Leave you to your note-taking. Always taking notes. That's me. See you next week, Zoe. Same time, same place. You betcha.
I thought we agreed you wouldn't show up at my office. I am not comfortable with this. She just left, by the way. Hey, you probably passed her on the way in. She would have seen you. I'm a ghost, Dr. Zelenka. People do not see me unless I let them. What have you learned? Well, she wants to remember. And will she? I don't know. Eventually, probably. You know what to do if she does. You've made that very clear. What else would you like to tell me today? She's not sleeping well. It's her dreams. She used the words vivid and lucid. Of what she wouldn't say. I get the feeling she's not being forthcoming. She lies to you. No more uh, uh, omitting the truth. We pay you a great deal of money to make sure Ms. Castillo has no secrets. I'll, I'll push. Next time. In your professional opinion, is she starting to remember? I don't think so. Not yet. That is all. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, how much longer will I need to do this? Without us, you would have nothing. Do you not want it to continue? Uh, I... Until she remembers. Until then. And if that never happens? Then we terminate. Good day to you, Dr. Zelenka. <clears throat> I just paid the doctor a visit. He tells me she has her mindset on remembering what occurred last year. Yes, Zelenka does believe she will remember in time. There's another thing we just learned. She has vivid dreams, as you said she would. She would not tell the doctor anything about her dreams. She may be keeping secrets from him. If this is the case, he may be outlasting his usefulness. Sehr gut, Fräulein. I will contact you immediately if I hear anything else. I have ears in all places. The moment she remembers, we will know. <laughs>